Well, there are thousands of nurses working in Kentucky performing vital services every day, and this is a week to celebrate them. And apparently we need more of them. It is National Nurses Week, a time to learn more about what they do. And we're joined by Julie Marfell, who's the Dean of Nursing at Frontier Nursing University. And she's good enough to come in. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you for inviting us. Why is it important that we celebrate uh, our nurses this week and recognize that first line of care that they provide? Well, I had a physician tell me a long time ago, the reason you put somebody in the hospital is because of the nursing care that they receive. You need a nurse when you're in the hospital, you need a nurse when you're sick. We're very fortunate as nurses, we're actually honored, I think, to be able to be that person for someone when they need you. You're right there, you're there to help them. Um, I've had a very long career and have been very lucky to have shared a lot of really important moments with people that I don't really know other than my patients. Mm -hmm. And with a lot more people signing up for health insurance, you know, because they're mandated now through the Affordable Care Act, there is a shortage, which there's been, and it sounds like it's getting even more dire for people to become nurses. Absolutely. We need as many nurses as we can get. There's a prediction of about 150,000 shortage within the next 10 years. By 2025, most of the nurses will have retired, so there's not as many new, younger people coming into nursing right now, so we need to really bring those people in, because we're going to need them. You were telling aging. us that uh, yeah, the, the nurses are older now, uh, yes. by and large. Yes, by and large we are. Um, most of the nurses are between the age of 45 and 50. Mm -hmm. um, most of the younger nurses, only about 25% of them are between the age of 25 and 30. So we really need to push because we all want to retire one of these days. And you were mentioning that salaries continue to go up in nursing. Yes, yeah, salaries go up in nursing. Um, I mean, it's not a huge salary, but it's a good salary. It's mm -hmm. definitely, you know, within 8% last year for advanced practice nurses, and it's been consistently going up. That's the other thing we, we really need, or advanced practice registered nurses, mm -hmm. nurse okay. practitioners, nurse midwives. Because with everybody getting insurance, we're going to need more and more primary care. A lot of health care is shifting from the hospital to the primary care setting, because if you think about it, not many people are in the hospital for more than a couple of days. Even yeah. for a major surgery, you may not even be in. Uh, what strengths do young people need if they're considering uh, getting into nursing? Well, I think they have to have the heart for it. I have to think they have the passion. They want to help people. They want to be a part of their community. They want to make a difference. They also have to have a good GPA because science is hard and mm -hmm. there's a lot of science in it. And they just have to be determined. They have to be determined and want to do it. Well, sounds like it can be a very rewarding career path. Absolutely, and you know we're looking for good nurses all the time at Frontier Nursing University to help them become nurse practitioners and nurse midwives. All right, frontier.edu is your uh, uh, web address. If That's you want correct. A little more information. Thank you for coming. We'll celebrate you and your well, long service. Uh, thank service you very much. Well. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. You.